Another local school district is facing legal action over masks. This time it's the Cannon McMillan District. Jessica Gway joins us live with what's happening there. Jessica. Ken, some parents are worried about their kids because of the mask policy at Cannon Max schools. So they filed a complaint seeking an injunction to try to urge the school board to make mask wearing a requirement. Schools back in session for the Cannon McMillan School District. Not everyone packed a mask Thursday because it's optional for students and staff. That's essentially dividing the student body, and more importantly, it's creating a risk, a health risk uh, for all the students there. Attorney Alexander Saxon tells KDKA a group of parents filed an injunction against the district and board and will file a temporary restraining order to urge the board to change its optional mask policy. The health and safety plan that they put in place uh, to comply with the Recovery Act did say that, you know, the school district would modify its policies based on data. Washington County has a high level of COVID-19 transmission, according to the CDC. Saxon says some of the parents in this case have children with disabilities. They have to either pull their kids out of school, at which point they don't have access to those services that their kids need, given their condition, um, or they send them to school and subject them to uh, a risk of COVID. Other Canon Mac parents are hoping mask wearing will remain a choice. I think it's the parents' choice. Um, I don't see a lot of scientific evidence that there is any real um, advantage to masking. Kids are fussing and and they, they can't breathe. And no, I don't. I think if if it means that much to you, have your child wear a mask. Otherwise, my children will not. The superintendent says the district has no knowledge of this recent filing and board members I reached out to tonight have not responded. I will let you know when the motion for a temporary restraining order is filed. Reporting live, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.